hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, yes, so today we are talking about the Olympics, UFC 265, and I have a big announcement. What? So the Olympics just finished. Um, and yeah, so it's a little bit surreal right now because... Um, you know, the world's just kind of getting back on its feet. And with the Olympics just finishing, there there weren't crowds in attendance. Um, and for me, that kind of turned me off the Olympics this time around. Usually, like, I, I check out the Olympics. Um, but this time around, I think I probably watched, like, less than five minutes. And I don't think... I watched anything live, it was mainly like highlights. Um, so like less than five minutes of highlights of the total Olympic games. Um, and what's quite interesting is I remember the day the um, opening ceremony took place. I didn't, um, it was on live, but I said, I said to myself, mm, I think I'll wait and watch it on uh, iPlayer or catch up. Um, and I remember like loading up the page um, and I was just about to press play, but then, I don't know, I just said to myself, like, I appreciate the work that the uh, Japanese um, Olympic Committee have put in to, you know, preparing the games and whatnot. But it's just not the same for an audience. Um, so I, I decided against watching, watching the opening ceremony, but, you know, it's going to be on YouTube. So maybe, I don't know, a year or two if if I uh if I'm feeling kinda of like nostalgic, I might just like pop it on. So, you know. But uh yeah, let me know your thoughts. Did you watch the Olympics? Did uh not having any crowd in attendance, did that turn you off um watching the Olympics? Um just quickly, like I remember because of the twenty twelve Olympics happened in London, I remember the um hundred meter Olympic final and you know I remember you could see and feel the energy from the crowd. Um, then you could see like the tension within the athletes because they have worked for years to get to this final. Then there's that moment when the athletes are in their blocks. Then the umpire uh, does the shh. Then, then you can like hear the quietness come over the stadium. Then it's just the athletes. Then you can imagine like in their minds, uh, their, their, their minds are racing. Then just before the garden goes, they manage to find uh, uh, tranquility. Then bang, off they go. Um, yes, would you like to support the channel? Then check out the Cash App link in the description down below. Moving on, uh, UFC 265 happened this past weekend. Um, Amanda Nunes was meant to fight, however, she uh, she got COVID, so she couldn't fight. But uh, reports say that, you know, she's doing well. Uh, in the end, the uh, event was headlined by Derek Lewis, and he faced uh, French fighter Cyril Garn. Now, leading up to this event, I was very familiar with Derek Lewis's work. Not so much with Cyril Garn's. Um, yeah, so, so long story short, Cyril, Cyril Garn won, um, and, and, and let's, uh, look back at the, the few days leading up to the event. So the event took place in Houston and Derek Lewis is from Houston. Um, and the UFC on their YouTube channel, they have a show called, uh, Embedded. And that's where they follow the fighters leading up to the big kind of like pay-per-views. And in that series, like, to me, it came across that, like, Derek Lewis had the weight of the world on his shoulders. And I, I don't know, watching him, he felt tense. He felt stressed. Uh, whereas Cyril Gard, he was very much relaxed and loose and taking it all in his stride. And he carried that energy all the way up to his ring walk, which I thought was interesting. Okay, so the fight is on. And from the get-go, Cyril Garn won every single round. Um, and the narrative that the uh, commentators were telling the audience 
was that, oh, all it takes is for Derek Lewis to get one shot off because his knockout power is so devastating. Um, yeah, in, in previous fights, that was the case. But in this fight, Derek Lewis was outclassed. I mean, literally, Cyril Garn was stinging like a butterfly and floating like a bee. Like, I encourage you to watch the highlights of this fight and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, Cyril Garn... His athleticism, incredible. Um, as I say, he outclassed uh, uh, Derek Lewis. Um, Derek Lewis is more of a scrappy kind of like fighter. Also, he's a he, he's a little bit he's a little bit of a heavier fighter as well. Whereas Cyril Garn's like a little is light, very really light on his feet, and has more of like a athletic build, and he's a little bit more lanky. Uh, so that played a part. And literally, like, he, he was stinging Derek Lewis with, like, uppercuts and jabs and kicks and mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to watch. Um, so, yeah, Cyril Garn won. Uh, I can't believe I, I didn't give him, I didn't give him a chance leading up to the fight. Um, yes, so Cyril Garn is now the interim World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, and fun fact, Cyril Garn used to be training partners with the UFC Heavyweight Champion, Francis Ngannou. So in an ideal world, uh, the next heavyweight title fight should be Ngannou versus Garn. However, what I think is going to happen is that uh, Francis Ngannou is going to have a rematch against uh, Stipe Miocic. Hopefully that, that match happens uh, by the end of the year. And the winner of Ngannou and Miocic will hopefully face Cyril Garn uh, early 2022 uh so that's what i think is going to happen in regards to ufc uh moving on uh big announcement okay so i i, I can't say much but all i'm going to say is this is that I, I i've done something really exciting and i can't wait to share it with you and i believe it is a first um so stay tuned to uh, this channel, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss um, the official announcement when it comes out. And also uh, follow me on social media at Tunji underscore Storytime uh, so that, you know, when I release uh, this news on social media as well, you don't miss it. Uh, yes, so uh, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Are you a fan of UFC? Do you like watching the Olympics? Was something missing without a crowd? Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.